Hello. Welcome to Metaphysical Communion number 19. And it's the one year anniversary. <laughs> so it's incredible that we are here at this time period. And it's exactly one year ago tonight that I started this program. In the meantime, I'm trying to get into Zoom so I can broadcast from there. So as usual with Zoom, it's a little more complicated. So it's been a little bit of an issue getting into this, but I am working on it as I am speaking to you. So hopefully you are hearing me at this moment and seeing me here. And I hope to be broadcasting momentarily you know, from Facebook Live. So let's see. We're going to like, oh, I got somebody asking me something else here in the moment. Hold on, please. And let's see if we can do that. And at the moment, not popping up that way. All right, so let me just get this here for a second. And let's see what's popping through here. I'm trying to get into Facebook here. And so far, I'm on Zoom, which is a good thing. Let me also do one more little thing for you guys which is to I just got to get to zoom over here for a second and then back to facebook it's a little complicated because you're doing two things at the same time but it's coming together so um you know with this program it's always been you know expect the unexpected as i always say you know you've heard me say that like at this point like countless times so I'm just going to put a little quick something here and for you guys to know a little bit more. And here we go. So I'm plopping this information in to Facebook, first of all. And there we go there. OK. So that's number one. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can connect that way too, okay? I'm also going to see if I can get over here where I also posted. And let's see. Okay. Got to wait for a second here. Let me see if we can get in here also. Oops. Oops. Here we go. Add to a post. Wonderful as we're working, as we're doing this simultaneously. Isn't it incredible? Okay. So we got that going here. Okay. And, okay, so we got that in there also. So that way you guys can find me, hopefully, one way or another. I'm going to try once again to get myself into Zoom through Facebook. Is it, Sometimes it takes a while. I've been trying a little bit here and it's been like, as usual, not happening. So let's see. Let's stop that live stream for a moment. Come back to live on Facebook. I needed to click in. It says it was live, but didn't connect all the way in as usual. This may take another two, three, four times maybe to get in here. So we'll see. Okay, I see something happening. Oh, I do believe. No, that was from last week. I'm watching myself from last week. How fascinating. Okay. Let's see. Preparing live stream on Zoom. Good. Let's see if I pop up all of a sudden. Something's happening. And here I am. Very good. So I can see myself here. All right, troops, so I'm in. Let me just type in a little fast information here. Then I'll edit it later on. Okay. Because it does request that before I can pop in. I see myself here already, which is fascinating to see myself as I'm broadcasting. 
Let me see if I can get myself in here. Maybe it comes up for a moment. I'd like to put up something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to go to my home page first of all, if it'll allow it. It's not quite, quite happening yet. I see myself here. Okay, good. And if it lets me go in here, it'll be a hoot. It's not going to be part of the, the situation. Okay, so let's see. Okay, here we go. Here, and we just type this in fast. Okay, and let's go live. Ready in one, two, three. Let's see. Okay. And here I am again, live on Facebook. Welcome to Metaphysical Communion, a one year anniversary special. I am DeAngelis Colon, your host. Welcome to the program. I am so happy to be here tonight. I can't believe it's been one year since I started broadcasting this show. It's incredible. I'm just stunned out of my mind. Anyway, happy anniversary to me. Happy anniversary to all of you. And thank you so much for watching the show since last April 1st of 2020. So as you may know, this program started because of the pandemic. So that was a very heavy time. We're still in it, obviously, but it was meant as a way to support and encourage people you know, through a very difficult experience. And here we are. And before I continue, I'd like to know if anybody can hear me, first of all, uh, since I can't hear myself here as usual. So I'm gonna see if I can get an audience going in here. Let's get one person in here. Let's get two people in here. And you guys gotta let me know if you can hear me. Because apparently my audio says I'm on, but I don't hear like the usual coming back like I have in the past. So I'm gonna rely on you people to let me know. Send me a chat, let me know if you can hear me. Okay, because every time I'm on this, it's always something new and, and special and unexpected, as I always say all the time, too. So, hi, Dee. Can you hear me? This is Trisha the Owl. <laughs> yes, Trisha, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, what I had to do uh, was unmute myself on my screen. Okay. So, perhaps that may be some anybody else's problem. I know um, I'm friends with Joanna and Lois. Yes, yes, I know. I know, and I and Joanna wanted to come, but I think that whatever it, it, since <laughs> it didn't it, it didn't start at eight thirty. So, and by the way, the only reason I'm not showing you my, myself is my hair is a mess. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just glad you're here. It's an option. People can show themselves or not. <laughs> That's up to well, you. Well, I know. I just, when I see your hair, in, uh, uh, I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> so. Well, you know, we like to be presentable on television, or in this case, you know, Zoom. So, you know, it's always a good idea. They said, there's another person who wants to be admitted. I don't know who this is. Let's see. It's a surprise guest, I guess. Okay, well, it's just a number. Okay, who knows? But anyway, well, Trisha, it's so nice to meet you, at least vocally. <laughs> yes, I, I, it, my pleasure. And I have met you um, I, 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 on on the show, on the Blog Talk show, yes. but I don't know when the last time you were on. Um, and I think we, do you know Mystic Lewis? I think that 
Yes, I do. I've known Lewis for a very long time. My goodness, since at least 1998. Yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, um, I, I know Lewis from uh, um, Magical Realms with Lady Rhea. Yeah. It used to be like the original product yeah. Botanica. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I feel a, 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 a distant cousinship with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's so good to know. And that's it's nice. Like, yeah. yeah, that we have that connection. You know, with Lewis, I've met Lady Rhea a few times. You know, right. I, met, right. I actually met Lady Rhea the very first time when she had the shop, Magical Realms, uh, for a, a period of time in City Island. Oh, yeah, I never went over to City Island because it's, I'm in the Bronx, obviously, I, and um, it, it was too difficult for me to get there at that time, but mm -hmm. yeah, she's, she was a traveler. Um, mm -hmm. She um, had a shop on Zuriga before that, yes, uh, Zuriga yeah. Avenue, and but yeah, yeah, so um, it is, it's very nice to chat with you. Oh, the same. oh there's Pauline. Hi, Pauline. How are you doing? I was just about to send you a message. Hold on. <laughs> I just saw you pop in for a moment. Okay, so just to acknowledge that I saw you before. <laughs> So here you are. It's so good to have people here, you know, as well. And I'm trying to do two mediums at the same time here with Facebook and Zoom. I'm still new, you know, with the yeah. connection. So it's a little, you know, it's dazzling, you know, to try to get into all of this at once. <laughs> no, I, I commend you on that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, I would just lose my mind. I can't, you know. No, no, it's Maybe. good. It's good. At least it's working this way. So I'm going to stick to Zoom here for a moment. People can see us anywhere, at least me, you know, on Facebook Live at the same time. So it's not missing anything. And, okay. Um, and the connection is better here so far on Zoom. I like, this is very new for yeah. me connecting onto Facebook, even YouTube. I haven't done that one yet. And um, that's my next, you know, uh, feed of magic, which is to connect live great. on YouTube, you know, also. Are you Good only you. on Zoom? Because I couldn't get in through Facebook. Really? Well, I am on Zoom now. Yeah, that's how I found you. I yes, yes, but it's broadcasting simultaneously on Facebook Live. Oh, I couldn't find you on Facebook Live. Right, okay. right, because it's always a, there's always an issue with these things. It's not it's coming complex with the with the technology. And it's an issue anyway, also and for and people to find one problems. way or another. Yeah. <laughs> People having problems today with their, their computer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the atmosphere. It's the change in the seasons, as I always say, especially this year. Logically happening, something going on because that's besides April Fool's. <laughs> well, April, <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> it's interesting because we should be having a good, a better time of it because we just came through a very positive full moon in Libra this past Sunday, and actually the entire month of March has been very, very light and favorable, astrologically speaking. We've had no retrograde planets, you know, this right. month, which is kind of a rarity. And right. our next retrograde really happens in Pluto. Uh, I think, what is it, April 6th or 7th or so? So anyway, things are going to start to change again, you know, okay. in April. So we're going to get a little bit retrograde here and there, at least starting with Pluto. And then I understand that our full moon for April, which will be a Scorpio, is going to be quite challenging. So everybody who's listening here, get ready for that one. Yeah. And um, it's come to my attention that you know Uranus is going to play a big part you know, in that. And Uranus is the planet of unpredictability. And the aspects there are not going to be that favorable either. And we have a Scorpio, you know, moon, mm -hmm. which already brings intensity. You mm -hmm. know, the sign of Scorpio is always intense, you know, and, mm -hmm. and can be, you know, very dramatic in its own way. It's a water sign. So it's emotional. Working with a full mm -hmm. moon. And of course, the moon is the essence well, of emotion. Right. Everybody's dark stuff needs to come up until we can look at it. <laughs> right, this is, that's part of it. That's part of it. But still, we're going to have some 
interesting experiences. So for the end of the month, we should try to stay as light as possible and mm -hmm. be mindful of our communications and not let anything get the best of us. And try not to travel, if anything, not too far either. Because and get an operation, right? That's another thing. Hopefully, I hope you're not going to go into a surgery at that time. Right. <laughs> because Definitely. that could it could be a bit of a challenge. And then you know, you gotta remember too that with that planet, Pluto, it's the house of secrets, you know, the very intense internalizing things. Things can come out, you know, also. But in mythology, really it's Lord Hades as well, and Hades the underworld. So it brings up a lot of stuff. Also, they can That's be mm. for Beltane, isn't it? Isn't it this around it, the time Beltane's gonna come? Well, yeah. yeah, in May, you know, a few days afterwards. So things are gonna be percolating a little bit around that time. We also mm -hmm. have to remember that, you know, um, in addition, Aries, people that are Aries who are ruled by Mars can also be reactive as well. Right now we're in Aries, you know, also, even though by the time of the full moon, that'll be more in Taurus, you know, already. But it'll still be early enough that there will be effects, you know, Aryan effects happening there. And with a Scorpio full moon with Pluto, Aries can be affected because, again, you know, Scorpio's original ruler, the higher octave, was, you know, was Mars. You know, also. Mm -hmm. So that's a planet of aggression. It can be hostile, you know, war, you know, tension also. So there's a lot of those elements that are going to be floating around towards the end of the month, especially. So we have to be extra aware and diligent and be mindful and not let certain things that just explode, you know, or let our emotions get the best of us at that time period. And it affects everyone, you know, in the horoscope, not just, you know, you know, the Taurus because it's right. there, you know, the Scorpio because of the moon. It affects everyone you know, in the horoscope. So just to be very mindful, tread carefully, tread lightly, you know, is the advice, you know, for towards the end of the month, especially. So right now we're still in the auspices of March and, you know, we have good feelings, positive energies floating about. It's a few difficulties here and there, yes, but, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get a little bit, let's say by next week or so, we're gonna notice a change. We're gonna notice an energetic change you know, for tumultuousness and mm -mm, just being <laughs> careful, you know, so that's just you know, something to be, you know, aware of. And, you know, we can't expect, you know, this lull of perfection, if you want to call it that, to last forever. You know, we've been given yeah. a gift for the past five to six weeks, a bit of a respite, you know, from all of the turmoil we've had before in January, February, and of course, mm. 2020, you know, so we were getting a breather, you know, to recoup mm. ourselves, regain our energies, try to clarify our minds as much as possible. Even though, again, there's been some aspects a little bit here and there that are difficult, but certainly far more relaxed and more open yeah. than it was previously. So this will get us stronger once again to face the challenges that are coming ahead. After everything we've been through in the last year, especially, that's the reason why I created this program in the first place, one year ago tonight which was to help people to get support, to not feel so right. frightened, to not feel so, you know, bewildered as what's gonna happen. You know, are we gonna even survive, you know, this, you know, as an entire generation. And again, I was not the only one who had a program of this sort, you know, there were others as well in the spiritual community that were also, you know, putting out their programs. I was inspired by them, you know, also to join along and just be another voice in offering some positive energy, something to look forward to. Um, capitalize and use our spiritual abilities, our gifts that are given to us, you know, in this way when it was needed the most. We couldn't meet one-on-one -on -one directly, obviously. So this was the next best thing. The only thing was available for us, which is to reach out, you know, through these programs, through the internet, through Zoom, so we could keep community alive and going and feel that we're all together, you know, in this, that we're not so isolated. We have been it isolated. has been a blessing. It's sure. been a real blessing. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm the first one to complain whenever my Twitter goes wonky, you know, as it does, you know, um, but I, I am so grateful. 
or tech, the technology we have um, during this last year, 18 months, whatever. It's, it's been wonderful. No, it has been. It's been a saving grace, really, yes. for us. Because people would have been far more worse if they would have been so isolated, not to be able to connect, maybe through the telephone, yes or so, if we even had to, you know, well, by now we have telephone, but to be able to see ourselves, one another, this way, most helpful. See how we're doing. You, you know, yeah. I, is, a, is indeed a blessing. You know, so if this yes. had to happen at this, you know, if this had to happen, this was the time for it to be, because at least we wouldn't lose complete connection with one another. Yeah, I agree. And, and, and I, I, I believe, unfortunately, I, you know, I, I don't like to look at the negative, but I don't want to dis or invalidate it. It happens. People right. would have been going out more. They would not have stayed at home as much. And who knows what that would have, I mean, exponentially increased the, the problem with the virus. Oh, so, of course. Of yeah. course. Certainly it was bad enough as it was. It's been terrible already with that. But it would right. have been right. It would have been even far more worse. People have no patience anymore. Oy. They seem yeah, to they're also spreading, They're also spreading a lot of fear and disinformation as well. So it's not just so wonderful. Only it would be like spiritual stuff. That's that is the helpful thing. If they find find people like you who are up, you know, like that can shift their thought forms and not be so pulled into the the matrix, then that that would have been a benefit. But there are a lot of people that just believe whatever they're told, and they're in, they're, they're being put into fear, and they're all doing everything. They're falling in line as if they're robots. I don't. I, I'm hoping more people connect spiritually. That's what I was told that this two years was for, so that we can connect and awaken. Mm -hmm. That was what it was for, for us to remember. Yes, mm. very, very true. And as we've learned, especially in the past year, how many people are really, you know, just basically just following, you know, an automatons, it seems, and the soul, they just follow whatever's being said, you know, oh my God, it's been an eye-opening experience. That is for sure. Oh, yes. Even in our community, even in our own community, I cannot believe what I've been seeing. There's like a split. I mean, even within the spiritual community. It's true. I've noticed that. They have a choice. We all have free will, so we could do what we have to choose and we fall. I, I just, just don't really get it. I thought, you know, I guess that's, sort of like separates us now because people not really at walking their talk and talking their, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You do, but I'm just saying there are so many that are not, they're mm -hmm. really not. And I'm just so surprised. No, it, well, it's been a grand learning experience, all of this, that's for sure. In more ways than we could have possibly expected, it's been an opening. We're learning truths about situations, mm. about people, about things that we were never privy to uh, before. That actually is a good thing. It's positive because there's less secrets you know, out there. And it's out in the open. It's been expunged outwardly, no matter how negative it is. But at least we are aware. Mm -hmm. It's no longer hiding as much as it was before. Now we have to what we're dealing with, everybody. Excuse me. So D, with Pluto retrograde, will that happen even more as it, as it goes back and uncovers? As retrogrades often do. Correct. And that is more to start to come out. And Pluto mm. is the house of secrets. You know, in the mm -hmm. zodiac, it's the final sign, it's the final planet, and it's the house of the inside, the subconscious, and it's mm -hmm. things that are going to be revealed, things that are going to come out more, and a lot of it can be quite unpleasant, but it is important for it to really come out instead of being in there festering right. or still hiding. That 
is such a lack of health right there. And it poisons right. everything even more. It's best that that toxicity comes out so we can all deal with it, hopefully right. effectively. Hopefully. So is this it again, Saturn is in Aquarius or Gemini? I forget where Saturn is. Saturn actually right now, I don't know where Saturn is I know because it's been changed I know at the beginning of, the, of last month I don't know where it is right now but Saturn has been pretty favorable luckily oh. for the past several weeks um luckily you know for all of us um I think it went into Aquarius and then it's going backwards or something the Capricorn or something like that no I don't I don't recall right now because I don't Saturn, remember something usually so much happening. I think I have to look it up again I'm confused <laughs> The Jupiter Saturn conjunction, I think, it is still in Aquarius. Oh, okay. It's no, but that should move. That should be Saturn so moves so slowly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it, it probably is. Well, both may be one way to they move slowly anyway, so it takes time. Right. Right. Yeah. Especially Saturn. Jupiter right. will move out before, but Saturn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Saturn, it goes, oh. Saturn is, you know, again, the planet, it's the taskmaster planet. It's the planet <laughs> that doesn't tolerate fantasy. It's grounded in reality. It, those truths also come out. Working along with Pluto, you know, you're going to get it in your face. Nothing's <laughs> going to be sugar-coated. Nothing's going to be... about institutions being broken. And that's institutions that are going to break... Down. Is that part of Ca Saturn? Or is that, it Capricorn? I don't remember. That's part of Capricorn, actually. But Saturn working in that element also, because it's about, again, you know, just revealing the truth of things and having things yeah. come out and not sugarcoating anything. It doesn't hide things. You have to deal with reality. It's very grounded, very concrete, and it slaps you in the face. It doesn't mean to harm you. It's to teach you. <laughs> it is a teaching energy. It just can be very difficult to face those realities for a lot of us. So we either, you know, get on our two feet and stick with it and do what we need to do to overcome our obstacles and our difficulties, or we just mm -hmm. fall flat, you know, on our yeah. back. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to be rewarded. We're not going to be helped because Saturn doesn't do that. If anything, it only makes it worse, you know, for the individual. Well, I'm giggling and laughing so much only because I, I know. I, I am a, I have a, a, a stellium in Sagittarius and, and believe me, I'm 62 now. So let me tell you, I learned. Mm -hmm. I haven't learned completely. And, <laughs> but I also, I have, have also learned that like it or not, th that's the way it is. But, right. but I like the I like to play. I'm like, no, nah, give me a break. You know, like, <laughs> go work 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 on myself work on this work on that i'm like come on <laughs> so that's it just to let you know why i'm such a giggly goofball um mm -hmm. that's part of who a big part of who i am very 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 sad um no that's good, right. good disposition is important for all of this this is part of your learning experience see mm. and you know having that those those aspects of whatever has taught you, you know, you either sink or swim. So you take it, you know, for what it is, accept the gift, because it's a gift in, in its own way, and right. what you need to do. And that's part of your liberation for your mm. energy, for your spirit. It's part of the journey that you came to this world, you know, to learn and to mm. grow mm. and to expand and evolve mm. your spirit you've done your yes. job well and right you will be rewarded yes yes greater wisdom yes. greater sense of inner peace yes yes and that's what i said it's you. like a greater sense of inner peace from all of the experiences and the trials that you've had in your life and mm. things have been a little bit harder for you than maybe for some other people but because of your of your mindset and taking it for what it is and accepting it and being willing to grow from it and do what mm -hmm. you need to do to make it better for yourself. It is paying mm -hmm. off with a, a greater sense of inner peace, wisdom mm -hmm. that you've attained, 
you know, mm-hmm. throughout all of this. And you can be just content with yourself that you've done a good job and are yeah. continuing to do a good job with yourself and in your life here. Yes. Well, let me throw in that I, and because and, I, I have to always express gratitude for all those who who have, I'm not, I don't want to say come before me, but who have helped me. I, I have received a lot of help from people like you, people in your community, um, people who share their knowledge, their talents, their skills, their wisdom. I haven't always liked it. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's Paul Dark and some rich, you know, um, where's my lotto number? You know, I'm like everybody else. <laughs> but I also do know I, I I am not, I'm a little more evolved uh, in my Sagittarian thinking. Yes. And, and I know, I know, like, as much as I want to play class clown, because mm-hmm. I do, um, those who have come, I did not get here by myself. And, and. And I am eternally grateful, eternally. And let me now, now I'm getting, (laughs) um, there's a great tenderness that I have for all who have integrity in your, in, in your fields and just within, you know what I'm saying, within your community, with your field, um, but it's not everyone has integrity and, and that's okay. It's not, I don't have space for that. I, it's like my closet stuff. Um, but I am eternally grateful. And even for just tonight's show. Thank oh. you. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you. I'm grateful for everyone who's been here in the past year or so. And, you know, has, you know, participated with the show and hopefully I've put out content that's been educational, informative. Um, it was mm. a challenge at the beginning because I had never done anything like this before. So it was just challenging working on Facebook. Refer- just get- it still <laughs> is, you know, a year later, some of these things are still problematic, but I've improved somewhat. And, um, and I was just doing it basically straight from Facebook, you know, live and just, just being there and learning, you know, with all of this and learning to communicate in a new way, which is using technology and yeah. so it's been it's education has been challenging uh, but at the same time it's also been enjoyable it's kept me going and connecting with mm-hmm. all of you because i've been able to utilize spirit in this way right. and keep working this way to help others which is the whole purpose of all of this first of all which is to be inspired and then to help and promote you know, the spirit and that it's alive, it's with us always and keep that dialogue, you know, going, not allowing the pandemic to shut us down and separate us. This is when we needed to really connect and communicate and really commune the most. That's why I call the program communion, metaphysical communion, because that's what this was all about. Getting us all together for an hour or so every week you know, just to be in connection, remember spirit, remember that you're not alone, that mm-hmm. there are those in spirit that are with us always. Mm-hmm. And no matter how difficult or how fearful this experience is, we are being watched and we are being helped and we are being supported mm-hmm. no matter what and don't forget it. That was the mm-hmm. purpose, you know, for this program in the first place. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. You make some interesting. I know how you name your your groups and your pages. It's just so different than everybody I've ever seen. It's very unusual and very unique. I, I love the way you name it, but it's like a mouthful. Half of the things that you named your like your website or something like the trans. I forget what you call it. It's just oh, so your dress psychic express. I don't ever. <laughs> to you at so me to find you unless I look at the name and stop on it. <laughs> well, like, everything has a meaning. It's to make it, you know, stand out. You know, it's, a, it's significant to me. Transpsychic Express, yeah, yeah, because it's a journey. It's a trip. Oh. It's a trip, it a trip. <laughs> It's a trip, honey, okay? <laughs> it's, it is always, you know, it's a woo, you never know what's going to happen. It's sad, you know, sad. <laughs> I'm curious, you're sad too. Oh, funny. 
No, actually, you're a Sag also. I'm a Sag. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> yep, I'm a Sag, but, I'm, <laughs> but we're all fire Sag. Uh, I got Capricorn in my moon, unfortunately, and Leo rising, so. Ah, she says unfortunately. <laughs> Well, look, we're, I'm a Leo, so we have that connection. Liam. I'm a Leo. Well, look son, at the beautiful head of hair. <laughs> of course. Leo sun, Leo moon, luckily. Oh right my. sign is Libra. Oh, look at the hair you have. That's right. That's the Leo. She has to be a lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh you know, we're all three of us are fire signs because it's Sagittarius, you know, Leo. Yeah. You know, we're all fire signs. And um, so we have that element. I'm 60. I'm not going to ask you what, how your age, but I, I heard you say you're 62, and I'm 60. So we're, are we <laughs> yes, I, I, mean, I, I am 62. <laughs> I, <laughs> so I have had, I have gone through I know, I know two Saturn now, returns. Yeah. You, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Saturn return. Saw. That's a special one. Oh, my God. That, that's why my... my picture is not Ooh. that's why you're not seeing me my hair oh, is girl. standing on my head yes i went through saturn return a few years ago <laughs> back in 2006 or so oh my god what a time that was those two I years know. those two yeah. years were special honey let me tell you it was like <laughs> okay i mean yes i did learn you know from the experience yeah 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 you know, and grateful for it but it doesn't mean that i enjoyed it and, no. <laughs> um, and for two years it was like mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, but yeah. we get through it it happens to all of us we're not yeah, in this yeah. world without going through a Saturn return or two or three if we're lucky uh. and, um, hey, are you still doing the uh, place on 14th street are you still there or they closed that they no we the had, no no they, well, they closed <laughs> yeah. no 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 here's the thing with namaste bookshop uh because of the pandemic last year mm -hmm around I think March or so late March or April they closed for a while because nobody was open you know during this last right. spring so right. unfortunately right. you know I had to stop doing my readings there I stopped in mid-March of last year and because uh, nothing was open they resumed oh. they are open again they've been open since July luckily you know so they're back in, in business oh, but they uh, go out of business that's pretty good no, they, they're stayed, they were able to stay in business. They were able to stay there. They're fine. They're doing fine. And they were able to resume, you know, business in July. And they're there. And people are coming in because, you know, it's one of the few shops like that in New York City that offers all mm. of these services, all of these things. They're not that many in New York. There's not too many anywhere anyway. But um, mm. but they're one of the principal, you know, stores, you know, in New York. And I haven't gone back. Uh, several of us have not returned for read as readers because again the pandemic some people have you know mm. i just don't feel comfortable doing it yet you know i don't mm -hmm. want to get, get take the chance of exposing family, myself right? to yeah, anything plus i have an a right. parent that we that i mm. live with i have to be especially careful you know for her you yes. know i've said that many times in the program so people who are familiar know this already but people who are new no it's you know i've had to be super super careful so i did not return hopefully one day when things are safe once again i would like to go back i enjoyed my time there i worked there for what for five almost six years straight you know they're doing readings you know there and met a lot of fascinating wonderful people in the shop mm -hmm. work there as well as the clientele that come from all over the world i was able to do god knows how many readings you know there it was very busy very successful very blessed you know to have had the opportunity to work there for so long but unfortunately the pandemic right now has put that on hold so I'm mm. not doing in-person readings of any kind right now. I just cannot take the chance. Like I said, hopefully this pandemic. I just saw a post. Excuse me. I just saw a post that the Eyes of Learning is having a meeting at the end of April. I don't know if that was an online version. That's reason. going to be Does virtual. Be? No, no, that's going to be virtual, Pauline. Virtual. Okay. Finally, no, so they finally opened. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry, they've been virtual. virtual for a while, for the last for the few months. So it's yeah. months and months oh. they've had virtual meetings already. Um, they are oh, okay. having that one later in April. I look, I have a, from what I saw something today, I have a feeling they hope. Is Winter Brook. That's who yes, I saw Winter the Brooke. Yes, she's a medium. She's a friend of mine. She's wonderful. That should be a wonderful 
you know, program. So anybody who'd like to attend, you know, I recommend it. I've been a speaker there live myself at the Eyes of Learning in the past. It's a wonderful organization. I've been yes, a member since wonderful. about 2002. So, um, but I have- Are you on the board? Are no, you no. Board? You're on no. the board of, uh, of no. Eyes of Learning? No, no, no not, yet. <laughs> not yet. Mm -hmm. um, not yet. <laughs> But um, <laughs> but um, I it's think so what I understand. I think they might be thinking about going back live. I think in September. Oh. from something that I saw. I oh, yeah, that makes much more sense. I'm not going to elaborate yeah, too much about it because I'm I'm only at this point kind of speculating a bit. But from what I saw a bit, it looks like they they are hopeful to go back per, perhaps live in September. We'll see. As things right. progress, we have to wait mm. on how the virus is, you know, contained more. How many people get vaccinated? How successful this vaccine is? You know, also right. in, in combating is that. Older group still or young again? Do they have young people come in there, or is it mostly the older people that have been there for quite a long time? So far, you know, it's the older That's people that still attend. There's some young. There's some more youth. There's with a pop in or so, but it's not mainly, you know, people that are older. A lot of the people that have been going there for years, a lot of new people go, you know, also. So they're still alive, they're still kicking, you know, and it's just a pandemic put a hold on so much, you know, but they're still there. And, you know, at least virtually, they're, you know, I know there's a young group. I consider Daniel Anker young. <laughs> I know he's not, we're all Daniel older. Daniel is ageless, honey. That's Danny is yeah. ageless. He's gonna go on forever, looking <laughs> wonderful. We all are. <laughs> no, we are all ageless. You, you are not good. That that thing you posted with the big ship, the big <laughs> seven decades. We're laughing because we know you're not seventy. No way. You, you fooled us. Oh, honey, I'm honey. ageless. I'm <laughs> ageless. I don't do old age. Okay. I, know. I don't do oh, age. Ages. I know why? It was yeah. April Fool. Oh, ages, I don't do, I don't bother with age. I don't care about nothing. I don't want to know about it. So I know, I know, but, <laughs> everybody, everybody thought you were saying you were 70. I'm like, no way she's 70. No way. You're younger than me. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm 60. So I don't know. Okay, well, girl, you don't look at you. I couldn't believe when you told me you were, you know, she's what? As a <laughs> Well, we are so sweet and loving. We have to be reverse aging. That's the only way I, it makes Yes. Well, honey, so universe. For being nice. Yes. We're spiritual. We live a clean life in existence. You know, we, we're, life. we're all connected. And it life. keeps you, you know, rejuvenated, ever rejuvenated, ever younger. And besides, you know, I know, you know, Egyptian preservatives will keep me fresh forever. Oh, so, you know, really? Yeah. For all of you, you know, as well. You're going to have to do a lecture on that one day. We need to hear the secrets. <laughs> Compare the middle finally. I'm like, oh, no, wonder. Yeah, Cleopatra like that. Well, honey, it worked for them. And it, and they still, a lot of still are going, even though they're dead, but their mummies are still there looking pretty good. So if it worked for them, it will work for me. So, you know, and I'm alive. <laughs> so if <laughs> Better to start when you're alive, you know, than dead. They waited too late. We to they waited till after they did. Not. They didn't do it when they were still alive. <laughs> not enough, anyway. <laughs> has, has anybody ever done anything at the at the eyes of learning, like a goddess thing? Because I think it's time for us to have a goddess meeting. You know, very interesting that I can recall. Hmm, it's been a while. That I've been, I know they have like a, a Halloween ball, but I know I've never heard them say anything about a, a goddess. Well, the, it's not, it's not a Halloween ball. It's really, it, that's when Daniel speaks every Halloween. So what he does, oh, okay. his annual a Halloween, he does his annual program, you know, his haunt, what is it, haunted, whatever. Um, it's a Halloween show that he does his haunted happenings, as Daniel called, titles it. So he talks about, you know, fascinating things of that period of time. He does readings in you know, there. Some of us go in costume because it's the time to do it. You know, also, heard. you know, so whoever wants to dress of up course. does, you know, but that's the Halloween, you know, that they do at the uh, Eyes of Learning once a year. So, you know, so let's hope <laughs> we can do it again this year. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll have to that's do it right. virtually. It'll be we need to have that. Yes, yeah, so if we do it virtually, you know, that would be a thing. Now, Trisha, 
You still there? Yes. Yes, uh, yes of course. Yes, you know, let's also, that's, uh, we know that we're going to have a program on April 12th with Lois Martin you know, yes. as well, and Joanna, and you'll be there as well. You know, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like the assistant chat room and posting yeah. and, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. yeah, but I will be there, of course. Perfect. wouldn't miss it. So oh, for those gosh. of you who are watching out there, let me just tell you, it's called Inside the Mind of a Psychic. So there are right. six, you know, uh, six, <laughs> six spiritualist people, including myself on a panel. It'll be virtual. Yes. And so the auspices of I got your number, you know, with Lois and Joanna. So this is Lois's brainchild. Trisha, are you uh, the Trisha? Wait a time. second. I think she's the Trisha that works with Lois. Yes, yes, she is. Are you the Trisha? Trisha me and yeah. So oh, yes. Oh, oh, did you you no, shared? No. All right. She invited you to that event, right? Because I because I can see it since I'm the one doing all these postings. Yes, I do. And, uh, yeah. I'm very excited right. about it. I honestly, I have not said anything, but now I'm telling you, I think they're going to need more than two hours. <laughs> but it, because <laughs> I don't know, I love to hear from everybody. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And y y when you get six highly talented, in touch people, I mean, and then you're going to take calls. Mm -hmm. It's like, Two hours. Well, I guess that, that's the sad to me. I could talk forever. You know? <laughs> like, but, they, but they are going to limit it where it's like each panelist will answer that per, that caller's question and limit it to one minute. So, uh, like, you know, it's bing, 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 bing. Um, we'll see how that goes. I mean, you know, that, that, that's tough, but that's the plan. Right. Um, but that's how it has to be handled. It's a two-hour program, first of all. April to starts at 7, yeah. from 7 to 9. Yeah. And we can only be on for so long after all. And it's mainly, you know, uh, us talking about, you know, what it is to be who we are, yes. how we work, what we think, yeah. you know, what we feel. People can ask us a question. We can answer yeah. the question. It's almost like right. you're psychic. But that's Remember it. Remember what you used to do? Me too. I guess kind of, I think that I don't know Lois's intentions. I only know what I can feel and surmise. Yes, yes. And yes. one, she's always, this has always been a fascinating thing for her. And I think that she has not had the room to, to talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also in my, this is my opinion. Um, I think that a lot of people take things for granted like all right you know oh the psychic okay um i'll ask him her whatever and don't understand what it's like to be in your head and in your body and in your feeling i know that years ago i i taught myself tarot i mean it, it, i it, and so in order to do it because i was not professional i would give free readings to friends yes exactly. and i will tell you after two years i was like go away like you you don't know what this is draining from me now i was younger i didn't i needed to learn more about cleansing protection or kind the whole life yes. but i didn't have people in my life my friends think you know i'm the flake you know what i mean i'm the <laughs> Oh, that's Trisha, you know, uh, yeah, she's off to the Botanica, yeah. <laughs> who knows, <laughs> um, it, you know, it's, I have a, a great respect and again, gratitude for what all of you do put forth, your, your energy is precious, and not everybody's, uh, you know, not everybody appreciates that, you know, so I think that's part of it, it's like, let's let's talk about us for a minute and what and what we go you know you guys being the panel being us yes let yes. the panel talk about us for a minute and how crazy fun rewarding whatever it is you know and and questions will come after you know so I, I, I can't wait 
No, really? it can be fascinating. It can be done. It just has to be moderated correctly. And yeah. you know, as long as you have control and Lois is an expert at that, obviously she's been in the program <laughs> for so long. She knows how to organize everything and moderate things. Yes, and, and yes. Just whole thing. So it should go very, very well in the time allotted. Yes. Everybody should yes. have enough time and equal time to speak you know, also right. about what comes up and how it's elaborated. The questions will be ad addressed to you know, from right. the audience. It'll be, again, right. moderated properly and it should go very, very yes. well. Oh, I believe it. But yeah, absolutely well. So absolutely we're all will. looking forward to it for April the 12th, which is a Monday. You know, from seven right. to nine, it's part of Block Talk Radio, you know, for people to right. know. I've posted already on my page and on Lightwork yes, Network, I've seen. you know, also. And I know you have, and Lois, and everybody's posting all over. The I'll be posting again more. I even created my own poster <laughs> for everybody's face so they could see us, so you see who we are. I'm going to post it again. I'm going to refine it a little bit more so that people can see our faces instead of just seeing our names. You know, you put Oh, that's face beautiful. And it, you know, it just draws more attention because if people see who you are with a picture, yeah. they'll feel more right. of a connection. You know, they'll get to that see is who you are. Excellent, excellent. You know, so it's I'll wonderful. Be, yeah, absolutely. So we still have time. So we'll be posting. Just well, it's another week or so. So I better get posting soon again. And um, <laughs> so, we, but you know, just post it, post it. I invited a ton of people. Hopefully, they responded. And right. more to come. We'll, there's more time for to invite people. They're hearing it now, you know, here in this program as well. So that's another right. way of advertising it, you know, too, that we'll be, you know, doing that for the audience out there, for people to learn, to be educated, and hopefully yes. get a spark of enlightenment to find out yes. more for themselves. That's why I do this work. That's why I created this show and everything that I've done, my, my uh, community page, my public page on Facebook. It's for people right. to be educated on their own. I post a variety of different subject matter materials. This past yes. year, this program, I've done, yes, I've done programs with spot readings for the audience. People enjoy that. They love that. They want to know about themselves. Oh. Uh, for people who are afraid of this, this has been a way, a platform for them to step up and open to mm -hmm. it you know, in a way that was protective. They didn't have to show themselves. You know, uh -huh. and ask their questions, you know, in mm. anonymity. So they felt safe. And mm. receive, you know, some assistance, hopefully some guidance. Hopefully it has been helpful in that way for those people. And for those of yes. us who are accustomed to this, you know, we've been doing this for years. People who are well-seasoned, you know, as people that come to see psychics, mediums, etc. You know, this is a way for them also to be supported and to connect, you know, also, especially in such a dire yes. experience that we've undergone in the past year. So that was the purpose for this program also, but I've also provided different subject matter, different topics. The shows right. different areas of the metaphysical, again, to educate people about these things, to get my perspective, my personal experience with some of those things, but also mm -hmm. to know if they recognize something of this that's happened to them, they can feel a connection. They feel that it wasn't just them alone or they're not crazy. Yeah. It does happen <laughs> to others. You know, it's happened to me. I'm verbal about it. I open, I speak it in public. The whole world could see this, obviously. And uh -huh. I'm afraid to do that. And many of us are the same way. We are speak about our experiences. Those people mm -hmm. who are so afraid of revealing mm -hmm. all these things to their friends, family, et cetera, or to the world, or whatever, can feel that, yes, I'm not crazy. It's not right. a figment of my imagination. This is happening to others. And this right. way they can also find out more on their own. So I've mm -hmm. provided also referrals, you know, different books, uh, different people they can research about these mm -hmm. various subjects so they can learn more on their own and feel more empowered mm -hmm. feel that they can do this as well and they can overcome and that they're not insane. They're actually saner than most people. And, yeah, yeah. And open up more to this and open up to their spiritual selves. That mm. is one of the main purposes for doing this program too. 
So there well, you have it. Many, <laughs> many blessings. No, many, 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 many blessings to you and all, um, you know, with good intent. Um, because I really have, you, you know, uh, um, I went through 18 months um, recently. It was before COVID. Um, and it's a long story, so I won't even get into it. But uh, it, it, it was a very day by day, minute by minute time for 18 months. And um, I was emotionally in a very bad way. It, it was a betrayal, which took away, created a tremendous loss and um, and for no need, you know, for no, just somebody else's issues, their, their own toxicity, jealousy and whatever. Um, and it was spiritual help. And, and, but now, but as you said, when I can call on my, my, my spiritual gang, Right, because I'm from the Bronx, it's got to be a gang. Um, <laughs> okay, I like. Hey, Michael's leaning in with, with that sword. It's like bring it in, you know. So, but, um, and um, but not only them, it, 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 but the human beings, the people, yes. the women, the men who um, confirm. Just confirmed it for me, got me through the day by day, and I I can never express my gratitude for that, because now I laugh and I play and and I did not for eighteen months I did I sobbed to the point where I just thought I'm gonna be a, don't isn't there like a, a dehydration level like <laughs> how many tears can come out. But the thing is, is it's 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 past. Yes, yes. It's still with me, but it's not with me as it was. It is. I went through the tunnel, and came out the other side, but not alone. Not alone. Humility, humility means that I must acknowledge. Mm -hmm. Not alone. Mm -hmm. Thank I thank God, goddess, angels, saints, everybody for getting me through that time and the people that they put in my path. Yes, yes. When you need it the most, that's when they come. And when oh. they're in spirit or here on earth, mm -hmm. when you open and you ask, even if it's silently, you will right. receive because spirit is watching. The spirit knows. Yes. And they will open those doors and they will put those people in those places when they are needed. And sometimes you don't even have to go looking for them. They'll no, just yeah. be there yeah. at the right yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I do okay, know what let you me... mean. Yeah. Because it certainly Pauline, has happened for me. I'm sure. And it's happened for many <laughs> of us. You know, many, many of yes. us. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to dominate the time here. I'm no, it's okay. <laughs> We have a little bit more time left. You know, it's an anniversary show. So I'm going to celebrate. Here I am with a little bit of, you know, of imbibement, you know, to celebrate. Oh, Good for you. I didn't think of that. And no, it's I not alcoholic. It's, I don't drink liquor. It's apple cider. No, it's sparkling apple cider. cider. <laughs> I, I have something most of us have been through the ringer way before this COVID so that we yes, will be yes. ready. This is nothing. COVID's nothing to us. I have right. a feeling that it's Please. not so bad because we've been through it before in another way, yes. maybe not with yes. COVID, but we've been through it a lot and survived. Yes. You're like Girl, you're absolutely right. Pauline, honey, you, I know what you mean. <laughs> has been, girl, I had a feeling you've you been knew. through your stuff. I've been through my stuff. I'm amazed I'm still alive, honey. It's, it's, it's a miracle I'm still alive. I don't know. <laughs> you, well, you know, I've been alive for a long time, as I, I said earlier, you know, on Facebook, you know. So sometimes people look at me sure. and they say, you know, what are you doing April, here? Sure. Half I mean, of them say, what are you doing here? And the others say, oh my gosh, she's still alive. You know, it's incredible, you know. <laughs> they can't believe it, you know. Neither can I sometimes. 
you know. <laughs> hey, have you guys been getting all people coming back into your life lately that has been gone for a real long time? Like, they've been missing for, like, a decade, and all of a sudden um, they're coming back into your life lately? Let me think for a moment. Well, let me see. Not that. Let me have a little bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> But it is more than like me. Yeah, so that's when that happens. No, no I know what you mean. No, no. Um, uh, let me think. Uh, a little bit here and there. But you know when that especially happens during Mercury retrograde. Yeah. That's yeah. when oh, people no, have from the past seem to start to come up out of nowhere. You know yeah. whether you run into them that in the street sense. or they call you, or you for some, and you're not even looking for them or whatever. It's just there seems to be a connection out of nowhere. And I guess we're calling people reaching out. They're also reaching out. And it's Mercury retrograde. That's what it does. It brings things back from the past. You can review and revisit. It's a good time to to take care of things also at that time to plan, you know, for things for the future, to revisit things, to go over it, to see if you can do some sort of healing if necessary, you know, right some wrongs, um, review things to make it better for you, to get better understanding, more clarity. So it's a good period of time, those three weeks of Mercury retrograde, you know, to really concentrate on all yes. of that and because then once that's over you are going to go retrograde again oh i'm sorry um sorry. Gee, what, what is the next spread is it in april is Mars to go retrograde three times this year there should be three oh retrogrades this year we just went every year on retrograde. there's three every year fully it's fully in yes is am i correct Oh yeah, Mercury. I know that, but I thought it was going to be a few more. Something repeats itself again, but it's a retrograde, and it's not Mercury. I think it's oh. something else. Or maybe it's not okay. a retrograde. It's kind of a, I've got my trusty well and date book. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. When is the next retrograde with Mercury? Okay, Mercury. All right, the, the first one we passed. Right. Um, Mercury May. May 29th will be Mercury. Okay. So we've got time. But in the meantime, as you said, oh, no. prepare for that one. That'll be the Pluto will be well the 27th. In the That's a good thing. At least it's, it's not at the start of a season. See, another thing, if you've all noticed as well, unfortunately, is a lot of people have passed lately in the last yeah. few weeks. That tends to be a theme whenever we change from one season to the other, especially winter to spring. So for those people who have systematic issues, who are not well, have illnesses or so, sometimes the change in energy from the winter to the spring with the rebirth, the return right. to light, can be a big strain, you know, mm. on energetically. And sometimes those people just don't have the strength, you know, right. to go through that. So you see that a lot of people pass usually every year around this time. This year has been heavy. Before that, right. the last two weeks, it's been right. incredible the amount of people that have passed in one way or another. Right. Because, and then we're going through this, this crisis because we are still in an emergency situation. It isn't as heavy as it was last year at this time, which was more of a crisis, but we're still in an right. emergency, nevertheless. So that energy is still prominent. And it can still, if we're not mindful and aware, it can still take a toll you know, on us. So we have to be super, super careful. So we have to be very, very alert about what things are happening around us energetically. Um, We have to be mindful of how we take care of ourselves, Mm. physical level, as well as a mental Mm. and spiritual, because we're still in a very sensitive and tenuous time period where it can go one way or the other. Things are improving. Mm. And I predicted this a long time ago. For those of you who have watched the program, you know, since last year or so, or especially since last fall, I've always stated that spirit has informed that things will take a, ch- a turn for the better beginning in the spring of this year of 2021. Between March and May is when we'll start seeing major improvements happening. Oh, good. And so far as we see, things are starting to take that turn. We see things that the numbers, despite, you know, the COVID is rising a bit here and there, unfortunately. That's because some irresponsible people have not been Mm. taking care of themselves. And that's why we got a rise once again, unfortunately. 
But mm -hmm. in main part, you know, still the numbers have come down dramatically. People are getting vaccinated more and more. That's part, mm -hmm. you know, part of the reason why, you know, too, they're being more protected. And because of that, we see things starting to open up slowly once again. There's not that fear that we had a few months ago of being out in public. Right. You know, as we experienced before, things are starting to gradually open up again. It's going to take a while. It doesn't mean that it's going to be one, two, three instant. But between right. but by May, we're going to see even more of an improvement that will be coming more back to our usual way of living step by step by july my prediction is already that things will be vastly vastly improved compared to the way they are as of april the first right now and we're going to be able to connect more with one another in person you know once wow. again carefully at some points or so but at least we won't be as isolated away from each other families will be able to come together more right. safely once again there'll be more of that happening safely so mm -hmm. we won't have this energy and this atmosphere this feeling of of something dreadful around us as we do currently even still and especially last year was tremendous there was such a poisonous feeling in the atmosphere last year at this time oh, oh man yes was it yes. incredible it was and I, it was amazing. It was just like, like you said, twenty-four hour energy. It was just, you know, it was you unbelievable. It's it. indescribable. If you're sensitive like we are, you could see it. You could, you could even see it. You could yeah. feel it. I would wake up, and I was here a lot at home because I was working from home at that time a lot, and um, so I was here a great deal. I'd get up in the morning. I'd wake up in the morning. And I could feel this poisonous feeling in the energy field, this yeah. toxicity in the atmosphere. It was like, like, like very eerie. As one person told me a few it, days ago, she used that word. It was eerie. It was bleak. It felt like we were yeah. in kind of an apocalypse type of experience yeah. and environment. And even waking up here at home, I said, "Oh my God, there's this feeling of something, something dreadful." you know, throughout the whole atmosphere. Whenever mm -hmm. I didn't have to venture into the city, because I had to go into work still like at least twice a week at that point, it was be, you know, the, nobody was on the bus practically. Nobody was on the trains practically. Um, right. You see it in the street, no cars, no people, but there was this, this aura of just this apocalyptic type of like nuclear kind of nightmare in a way. Maybe it's a little exaggerated. Yeah. But you could see it in the street. There was nobody in the streets. Everybody was afraid to go out. The few people that were out were like avoiding each other like mad. I could walk in the middle <laughs> of the avenue, you know, at one or three o'clock in the afternoon because I work near Lexington Avenue. So I was out there in the middle of Lexington Avenue at let's say one in the afternoon walking in the middle of the street all by myself at times. Right. When do you yeah. ever see such a thing? You know, in the middle yeah, of- Yeah, you don't. You know, it was you incredible to experience that. And it was the atmosphere of something that there was some poisonous thing that was placed upon us mm -hmm. at that time. Now things have lightened up, certainly things are better, but there's still element. There's still an mm -hmm. element of that, nevertheless, mm -hmm. in the energetic field. Again, if you're sensitive like compared we are, to 9 11, remember when that was going on? Yeah, but remember well, when yes, 9 11 I, happened? Yes, yes, Pauline, but it's this is a little bit different. But it was even that because there's a lot more death at all at once, so it's probably much different than what you think. Right, it was contained in well, one maybe, place. Yeah. I wonder. What this is worldwide. Yeah. This affects it, everybody right. on the planet. Right, it was worldwide. You know, right. so it had more of that. I guess we got longer, that, certainly, right. because we are all in danger. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a while. <laughs> it's 2001, such a long time ago, but. But this has been more of a worldwide situation. And with the virus, that was not a virus. And this, that's another difference, you know, also right, 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 right. everybody. That and was people one. bonded, people bonded over 9-11. People bonded in the sorrow and 
desire to comfort others and to honor those, you know, who were who had, had passed, and honor those who were working. And it, the, there was a more a little. It was it was a threatening time. Like wow, is something else going to happen? But still, there was more community. Um, D. It, 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 and this has been a, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing over, you know, it, it, just whatever. This, that, you don't need to do this, you do need to do this, you do, do, whatever. There's been splits, and and that's unfortunate. That's truly unfortunate. But that's because that's, that's because the other elements that are involved. It isn't just particularly just the virus alone. It was the other right. things also that mm -hmm. you know, were part of that, you know, separation. Mm -hmm. you have that during 9-11. Everybody was together right. there. The government was basically one, unified. Here we had problems you know, with right. the government also, with the people were divided. We were divided in every way what this time around, every way, including yeah. men and women, uh, different sexes and different, oh my God, everything yeah. in politics yeah. and, and religion, everything was so, everything was up in arms, and everybody was in every all coming way. together, including this virus, you know, also, you know, so it all right. grew up, you know, basically in this way. The virus, that's true. Yeah. And that virus, we have to be mindful, as I said last year, and I'm saying it again tonight as a reminder, that virus was it's not as natural. It's natural, but it wasn't like it just came out naturally as a lot of people think. I know that there was some manipulation because the spirit oh, yes. providing yes. information yeah. and connection. Man-made in a part. That virus was not just, didn't come out because nature went haywire. That it was manipulated. Let's put it that way. It, there was Ooh. something behind it. That unfortunately appears to be have Same with the climate. The climate out of control. Not just it went out of control. That was the problem right yeah, there. The climate itself. And it went out of control. Uh -huh. And well, that's why playing it's this worldwide yeah, disaster. They're not going to say anything. They stopped that manipulating be, science. That would be horrendous. It's crazy. It's no, no one's ever going to say that. About this, yeah. it could cause a disaster. Uh, yeah. You don't want to speak about. They're not going to say right. anything. Maybe sometime in the future, once this is over and things have gone down and things have you right. know, come back to a more normalized state, hopefully, then eventually more of the truth will start to come out, will be revealed because it will be safer then. But for now, mm -hmm. it could cause an absolute worldwide disaster. Absolutely. If any kind of truth of this nature were to come out. So to avoid yeah. that type of situation, and increase hostility and mm -hmm. danger, everything mm -hmm. quiet, you know, for now. Right. Right. So, right. But it's to be mindful and be aware of that too. I've known all along from the start. But, you know, but to elaborate further would not be the most mindful thing uh, to do, and especially from those people who are in the know for sure. They are not going to say a thing. Mm -hmm. They have to protect the world. Right. It's the responsible uh, thing to do is to, to, to not let loose. I mean, there's enough letting loose, you know, uh, of negativity already, exactly. aside from the virus. The, 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 the hatred, the, it's just like, I it is can't. Incredible. It's incredible. It's coming up. It's part of the Capricorn, Saturn thing. It's part of the Capricorn and Pluto situation that came upon us two or three years ago or more. It's about the truth mm. being revealed. It's about all of that coming out finally. Secrets can no longer be contained. They're coming mm. out. They're coming out. What was once held back cannot be held back anymore. That's part of this whole thing. It's a grand cleansing of things. Mm. And it's teaching people to take control once again and see what is right and see what is real and bringing in the good. Unfortunately, the negative forces and elements are trying to hold, keep a stranglehold mm. on this world, on society, on people. There's a great spiritual war battle uh. going on at this time between basically, to put it very plainly, the good and evil. And evil mm. right now is in a state where it knows the war too. 
going on it, up there. It too. wants to keep its grip <laughs> on it and do whatever it can to keep its grip on continuing the negativity. And it's losing its grip yeah. gradually. We yeah. took control and we rested a part of it right. a few months ago. That's why the energy right. changed. A lot of people don't agree with that. They think it's actually not the opposite, but it's contained, you know, that negativity, which is still just at this way, seething, you know, over that. Mm. And it's going to try to still have a grip, you know, mm -hmm. on bringing back the negativity. But that's where everybody has to be unified more than ever before. And mm -hmm. you have to be, you know, galvanized into yeah. what is right, mm -hmm. doing what is correct, living mm -hmm. what is good and decent and true. That will vanquish the negativity because negativity can never, never, never overcome the light ever. Mm -hmm. No matter I what. Agree with you. Yeah. So you have to keep, you know, in the light and keep striving for that and not fall and not let the negative forces try to overcome and get the best. We have to mm -hmm. overcome in the light. Mm -hmm. It just takes a monumental effort. In a way, we're reliving like the 1960s once again. Mm -hmm. Different ways. I, I see. I feel very much the 70s. I guess that's my age, you know, bracket. In the 60s, yeah, but I was young. You know what I mean? I was born 58. So I was 10 and at 68. And life was just a ball. I mean, you know. It's like, well, that's you a know. child, certainly. But in the but, 60s, there was, yeah, there were some good things, but there was also, it was a tremendous time of change. Yes, that yes. was a pivotal yes. point in world history. Because up until yeah. that point, the decades prior, we're still living no. in the era of the way it was before. Right. You know, from there, you go back to the mid, let's see, the early 60s even still, but the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, the 20s, there was always the same line that it was still the same era, just progressing. Yeah. But when the right. 60s hit, especially around, the inkling of the change started around 1964. Mm -hmm. And that's when things started to happen. It was somehow an evolution of the world, society. Mm -hmm. people mindset it just absolutely went to another level it was beyond mm -hmm. anything and right. the era of the previous decades or so from where you know our family where their parents grandparents great grandparents where it came from or whatever was had come to an end and it was this right. new existence this new wave of society of the world culture everything mm -hmm. it just elevated it just expanded we saw it in mm -hmm. every aspect the way people were behaving the way we were thinking the culture the look of things how things evolved my goodness we had people on the moon by the end of the decade mm -hmm. who would ever dream such a thing like that even 15 years before mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that wasn't really even believable to most of society maybe in the people in government and in people in in, in space and in nasa aeronautics whatever they were already planning that or so certainly but for the general mm. public, that was just like a pipe. That was a science fiction thing from the movies. That's right. That, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That and that the was music happen for real—that was mind-boggling. <laughs> and and the music is is our historical, or for me, music is the historical reminder of the lyrics of music. And that's where I moved when I was saying seventies. You know, it reminds me so much, especially when you're talking about the disparities of of, of um, financial disparities, racial disparities, um, even even gender disparities, but more um, not not just male female. You know, the disparities and hatred towards anyone different. Yeah. It's like. It, 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 um, you know, in seven, it's just, I guess it's the music of the 70s of each, from whether it's He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, to Ball of Confusion by The Temptations, like, you know, or, or the best of the best, um, 
why can't we be friends by war? Which I just like, you know, you got to hear me singing. You can hear my scratchy <laughs> voice as it is. I just let it rip. <laughs> just, no, because it was an era of change. Well, it was different. And the 70s already were past, you know, the 60s. I mean, the 60s really came to an end more like 1971. And yeah. the early 70s were really more of a time of we can take a breath. We've gotten yeah. through this, the 60s. We've gotten through this era of, of change, of, of so much that happened, so many historical things that, that changed a lot of yeah. harm, you know, happened, the Vietnam War, of course. And yes. um, just so much there, people were like, you know, against things and, and speaking up for the first time, the youth, you know, just rebelled and they were yeah. no longer with the establishment and they just exploded right. from there. Everything, the clothing, the music changed. The way people Everything. express themselves. We'd never seen anything mm. like that in the prior decades before. It was, no. a, it was like a different world. It, it became a different world. The but then we became yeah. complacent. Then, then complacency set in. Oh, okay, yeah, we did. We took a breath and then it was like, everything's good, let's party. And that's fine, because I party, like, you know. <laughs> but it's, it, it was, it, the ball dropped. We let the ball drop. And, um, you know, that just, it, that's just the way it is. I, uh, there's no, um, you know, no reprimands or anything of that nature. It's just, but this was still like, seeping underneath. It seemed that there was more yes. between just a oh, brotherhood and love your, your, your fellow man and this and that, whatever. Yeah. It lasted for a while, for a little bit of time. But then yeah. it went back, you know, and then it yeah. just, everybody, you know, got to relax in it. They got complacent. Everybody was like yeah. semi okay or whatever. But all of that hatred and tension was still underneath that came out of in the course. 60s or so. It was still in there. It was still seething. Yeah. And now we're seeing just how much of that retained and how much mm -hmm. it finally burst out. Yes. It couldn't yeah. contain itself anymore. It all exploded in our faces. We weren't as well as we thought. We weren't as understanding. We knew there were problems anyway, but not to this extent. Right. Everybody I, was I, caught I, by surprise and shock that there was so much negativity in there. And now it's coming right. out. Oh. Is it? And now we have to deal is with it? it. And now we yeah. have to fix. Now this is our opportunity to deal with this. If there's one thing about this pandemic also, it's brought all of that out in part. Partly the mm -hmm. pandemic, partly the politics, you know, as well. Mm -hmm. But it's all brought all of this out. Partly it's again metaphysically, it's because of the Capricorn, Pluto, and Saturn conjunction that came about a few years mm -hmm. ago, that has brought all of this out also. We're now in mm -hmm. the age of Aquarius. We just went through the grand mutation back in December. Mm -hmm. We are now officially in the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we see a different energy. We're experiencing a new way of existing, a new atmosphere metaphysically, spiritually. Mm -hmm. We're ha now having to get accustomed, acclimated you know, to that. We have an opportunity here to fix all of this, to heal mm -hmm. all this, to evolve mentally, mm -hmm. also go beyond. There are certain aspects of that happening now as we mm -hmm. see it. We see it in science. We see it in person. We see people becoming more open about themselves more than ever before. We see oh, yes. LGBTIQ community being mm -hmm. mobilized and being finally being able to feel more comfortable you know, being and being hard and acknowledged mm -hmm. as well. And having allies, yeah. You yeah. Know, we see that happen. We see women, you know, finally getting becoming empowered also, like ever before. Mm -hmm. Self-empowerment mm -hmm. also moving into positions they didn't have the opportunities before. That's breaking mm -hmm. down. They're coming out of this. We see the different cultures. We're having difficulties, obviously, because of that, you know, too whether you know it's because of LGBT or if you're black or if you're female or if you're Asian or whatever, there are difficulties with people speaking mm -hmm. up and wanting their rights and wanting to be mm -hmm. acknowledged more and more. But there are still those who want to hold that back. They're used to the old oh. ways. They want to be the dominating force still on the planet and they are not going to want to let go. So we see this mm -hmm. violence occurring mm -hmm. for all of those groups that I've just mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
because mm -hmm. those who still feel that they're still in power want to keep that power. They don't want to re relinquish you know, any of that. They want to be the nominating force still on the planet, no matter what. Nobody so wants crazy. to lose control. So but crazy. it's changing, it's changing. They're good. Whether they like it or not, that's not the way anymore. Everybody mm -hmm. will have equal footing on this planet finally it's getting to that point it's going to be difficult obviously we have those obstacles to face but it is starting to happen and there's no going back yeah well thank god for that yeah that's part of the evolutionary change that's going to be occurring more and more that's part of all of this as well as we that is what's happening on a spiritual level besides terrestrial you know also right but the spirit energies are in line for, that's why this is all happening in part. Mm -hmm. The spiritual energies are now opening up to that. We are in the next phase of going into a newer and higher level of evolution on this world. A lot of it is not comfortable, but it's going to happen. There's no going back. No, it's never anything, I mean, again, I, I know it never, um, comfortable, real change, real change, whether it's within me individually or societally is never comfortable. But you know, that sad to me wants to just like, why can't we be friends? What the what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, Sagittarius is a sign of freedom. Sagittarius is very independent. Sagittarius are yeah. fire after all. Sagittarius are artists as well as freedom, independence, not yeah. being back. Jupiter is your ruling planet. Mm -hmm. It's the planet of expansion, growth, mm -hmm. philosophy. It wants to see everyone well and happy, always. Yeah. That is what Jupiter does. Expansion, moving towards the future. It should be working well, actually. With, um, with the planet Uranus, because Uranus is also a planet of genius, evolution, yes. also expansion, except that mm -hmm. Uranus is unpredictable and quirky mm -hmm. that way. Jupiter is more steadfast. It's mm -hmm. stabilized in wanting to expand and grow and make everything well. Mm -hmm. That's why you feel the way you do, because that is part of your nature, part of your spiritual self. It really hurts. I mean, it really hurts. And then, of course, being who I am and where I'm from and whatever, then I have my own tirades just in my apartment, although my neighbors may think I'm insane. I don't care. You know, they know it. They know who I am. And I'm just like, F this and F that. What is wrong with you? You know, and I know it comes down to acceptance. Look, I have to accept the reality of the way things proceed yes. that there is a process um but sometimes it just hurts so bad you know and no, i have to true. pull out of that yeah it does uh, yeah it does. and but we have to go with it right now we have to deal with what we have to deal and you know that's it at this point and you know we have to accept this way the things are things are changing and moving more and more and that's just it. And there's no, you know, going back. And actually this is for the improvement and betterment of everyone. Yeah. We're evolving yeah. in such a way that most people just, it's too hard for too many people. We yeah. who are part of the spirit community, we know this. We are open, yeah. we are sensitive. We yeah. have advantage because we have researched, we've studied this, we feel it in our being. We know what's mm -hmm. happening. So we can mm -hmm. go through this, but those who mm -hmm. are not aware, who are not enlightened, who are more mundane, mm -hmm. they're not used to, they're not taught this from the beginning. They don't come mm -hmm. from that part of their lifescape. So mm -hmm. it's difficult for them to comprehend, to get a grasp you know, on this. It's very mm -hmm. hard for many of them. Some of them may not get through this at all because it's just too hard for them. Others who right. are able to be more malleable, who are more open, will be able to mm. open their comprehension will start to accept. They'll be able to grasp you know, this and learn it and know that it is true. They will awaken you know, to mm. this. 
and they will know that this is the way it is. And it's for all our own good. We are advancing, we are growing. My God, by the end of what, I think by 2030 or so, we'll probably be on Mars. Well, n n not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least <laughs> humans, some humans are going to be on Mars. They're going to start spreading to the next, and there are secrets on right. Mars. There are secrets on right. Venus, you know, also that we're not aware of. Venus, I'm also, uh, yeah, Venus is cool with me, but <laughs> you know, but we're going to find out things that are going to blow people's minds regarding yes. the world, regarding these other planets, regarding origin and history on this world. That is mm. going to open up more and more. We're going to finally learn, and we're starting to happen gradually, about others from other places, other worlds. Mm. And mm -hmm. bit by bit, that information is starting to be disseminated more and more like ever before. Uh, we yeah. are gradually, at least the majority of the public, is being introduced into this gently, carefully. Right. By right. hearing more about this, by having more of these discoveries, more of these secrets revealed step by step, bit by bit, it is to make humans comfortable with this subject and with right. what's coming. Because once those other beings finally come, or we connect in some way, or they return, mm -hmm. it won't be the frightening, daunting mm -hmm. thing that people have felt it to be from the past. That's, that's just one of the reasons why it hasn't happened because it would be so terrifying right. for people on this planet to receive and to, you know, others from other places that the panic, putting it mildly, would be beyond. Right. And who knows what trouble, but there's more than just that alone. But things are starting to open up in that way because we're getting more accustomed, we're getting acclimated to this. We're getting more introduced into the possibility, not even possibilities anymore, the realities that there are mm -hmm. other, other places, they've been there forever, whatever, and that we'll be able to connect with them and not be frightened. Mm -hmm. And that we'll be able to handle this. We'll have to open our minds more than ever before because these beings are not human. They are not mm -hmm. like what we are accustomed to here. We're going to have to learn how to understand, how to comprehend these mm. things. We're not going to be able to anthropomorphize them like humans are accustomed right. to, you right. know, with these types of things. You see it in their, in their stories. You see it in their movies. They see when they bring in extraterrestrials, aliens, they're always making or fashioning them in a way that is kind of humanist, humanesque in a way. Yes. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Relatable yeah. and comfortable. That doesn't necessarily mean that those beings are actually like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to Wait be- Wait they find out that some of us are hybrids and we're part of those, those, those races that are going to come exactly. and show themselves. That's another aspect of it too. So we, we don't people be people horrified. People are going to remember that we are partial. Yes, it's very true. And that's another truth that will be really revealed there as well. So people have to be made comfortable you know, with that to be able to accept you know, that eventually and not have their psyche blown you know, mm -hmm. from them to the point where it could make people absolutely go out and start raving and sing. So <laughs> very gently, because they could, they would. Oh my God, if they ever felt that, oh my God, oh, they, they would go out of their minds. And it of could course. cause a lot of damage. It could cause a lot of psychological damage, unfortunately, and, and whatever else. Right. So in order to avoid that type of experience, besides more, you know, is information is being introduced gently, quite carefully, so that people can mm -hmm. be more aware and more accustomed to this mm -hmm. possibility. At this point, it's still a possibility, but these realities. So when it does start to connect finally, they won't be so blown away, you know, you know, from the experience. See, it took right. me thirty years to even open up to that. I have that in me that I'm part you know, from another star system. Yeah, so, I mean, I was always scared of all that information and I didn't know why. And then I finally I said, now I get it. Okay. I was afraid to open up to my own self. Yes, because that's part, of, well, that's part of the protective mechanism, of course, because we don't see it. If we don't see it, we don't believe it. 
And a lot of things yeah. we have to see in order for it to be real. And this in particular, forget it. You say that, you know, before to people, they would think, oh, you're starting, you're crazy. That one needs to be in, in the hospital. <laughs> you know? And if the people kept quiet, you know, they're just start raving mad. And that's why a lot of people kept quiet forever and, and still do, unfortunately. Now we're still, we're getting to become more open and not afraid of that. And more, and more people are opening up about these things. And as they do, more and more people see that from others and they are starting finally to open up and reveal about their experience, mm -hmm. about their feelings as well. So we're starting to see this starting to trickle out and become more of a stream at this point. Eventually it will turn more into a river and then more into a lake. And then finally it will go hopefully more into an ocean where so many mm. of us are experiencing the same things but we were so terrified to say anything in public because people would put us in the loony bin you know, that we just mm. kept ourselves quiet. You know, mm -hmm. and that happened to a lot of people in the past. A lot of people did speak up with things about this nature or because they were spiritual, they were mediums or whatever. And where were they put? They were put in the dungeon, they were put in the hospital. They received right. hot treatment. Right. They were put in the asylum. Right. Because they were right. thought to be stark raving mad. People who mm -hmm. are autistic, for instance, who have mm -hmm. a high sensitivity for, because mm -hmm. they can sense and they can see things or whatever. People like that in the past because science wasn't so evolved, where were they put? They were put in the hospital because they're, they're mm -hmm. in Oh, they're mentally ill. Not so, darling. They're just more open and more sensitive. Mm -hmm. The majority of people, that was it. A lot of those people didn't deserve to be put in those places in the first place. So oh, no, yeah. less and less of that occurring as more and more people start opening up, open their mouths and talk. And we'll see that more and more people are sharing very similar, if not the same experiences. And mm -hmm. that begins from there as well. That is going to be also happening on a more escalated you know, level than ever before. So much more is to come. So we have an interesting next few years ahead of us. This pandemic will start to come down. I feel by 2022, we're gonna be in a much better place than we are right now. So get ready mm -hmm. for that. So that is another prediction from spirit. And I've had a sense of that for quite a while. It won't happen this year as much as people thought it would. Mm -hmm. 2022 and those two, 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 you know, mm -hmm. that will be a year where we'll start to really start coming back more again, more to what we were mm -hmm. accustomed to previously with changes. I'm still a little bit, mm -hmm. but we'll be living more of, of a normal, for lack of a better way of saying it, existence. Once again, mm -hmm. a more evolved one. So that mm -hmm. is to be coming ahead. That's so, great. So everyone on that Did note, you ever excuse me. Oh, okay. Do you remember a group that used they used to have at the Eyes of Learning called the Star People Group? Were you there back when they had that? No, I wasn't. That wasn't before I arrived. There was a girl. There was a woman that used to run it, and Joan Karen and I used to go to it. I guess she was way beyond me when she went. There was, there was a group called Star People. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if you know the name of this woman. Joanne Steele, she used to run it. Really? No, I know Joanne Steele. Yeah. I remember her from the Eyes of Learning or something. Right. She's the group. Really? Maybe an inkling of this. I was directly before me. That was way before I ever came, you know, to the Eyes of Learning. But I heard like inklings oh, okay. pieces of that. I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, but well, that was a while ago. That was something in the 1990s. Probably when, when Bob took me out there, it was probably in the 90s, the early yes, 90s yes. when I went right, out there right. to the Eyes of Learning and checked them out. And that's when they had that group there. They had both groups, the Eyes of Learning and the Star People. Oh, how fascinating. Oh, I wish they would still have that. <laughs> I want to resurrect that. I'm, not, I'm going to see if Joan wants to work to do that. Because Joan used to be involved in that group back then, Joan Carroll. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be fabulous to have that come back again in some form. That would be wonderful, actually. But again, right now with everything that's going on, it's a little hard. But let's see what happens. Again, it could be part of this evolutionary process as well. The people on, I just, saw, I just saw somebody else in another. Do you have more than one thing going on? Because there's some a few people that are on besides us. 
It's like a something Gupta guy. The name was like, so that you only see the two of us, Trisha and me. I only see you and Trisha. There, there I'm, wasn't on a, I'm not on Facebook. I'm on Zoom. Let me check. Because right now it's not letting me see. I had seen somebody else's name there. Really? Well, you're seeing. Yeah, they said there. hi to you. And oh, wow. I haven't seen a well, thing. Well, posted Facebook. So I looked at Facebook. I was just going through my Facebook. Well, let me see. I'm looking at Facebook this. right now. Let me see. I've been, unfortunately, I've been ignoring all the home for because I haven't seen them. Because I've been concentrating on, let me see, on Zoom. So I haven't been able to look into Facebook and it's not letting me see anyway on Facebook. That's interesting. I can see you guys only on Zoom. But it just but it looks just like what you're on right now. Let me see. on Facebook. So it showed up. Let me have a look and see if I can locate that. Um, well, on, on the top of my screen, it says recording live on Facebook. Yes, it is. I can't see it. So what that's worth. Let me check out. Let me see if I can find something, if it allows me to. Let's see. You don't want to know all the other people that show it up. <laughs> no, because I, well, it's not letting me see them. That's part of the problem. I can only right now see and focus on Zoom and not, it's not letting me see anything on mm. Facebook for some strange reason. They're on Facebook, right? They're not, they, don't, they don't get to converse with you unless you're on Zoom. No, they can chat. They can chat on Facebook. That's what I saw, the chat. There are two me, I, hold I on a second. I, I got to look into video and see what's going on. The classes. Let me see if I can see something happening here. All right, I see something here on Facebook. Well, on Facebook now, I got four comments. Okay, here's everybody here. Okay, I got, okay, now I'm, it's allowing me finally. I just have to go into the video section you know, here in Facebook in order to see this. So I see only four comments at this point. So I'm just liking everybody. Hello, everybody. I apologize. I just wasn't able to see you on chat because I've been focusing through Zoom and Facebook Live wasn't letting me see it. Of all people, I should be able to see it clearly, right? I'm the host of the program and creating the program. It doesn't let me see my own program on Facebook Live. Isn't that special? That's just really special. My own program. I can't see my own program, you know, on Facebook Live. Um, but now I'm seeing, you know, some people saying hello here, as you said, thank you for alerting me to that. I still can't, you know, I just see my face. I see Pauline's face on Facebook, frozen, but not moving. That's fascinating. Um, coming back to Zoom. Now Maybe I can Our vibes it. are too hot. I don't know what's happening. Them. Well, they should have joined us here, you know, on Zoom because I put the invitation, you know, mm -hmm. on on my page, they could have joined us very easily, you know, right here. And they could have even spoken with us verbally instead of chatting through. Oh, well, that's, you know, everybody's preference, obviously. So- um, Well, or, 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 no, or notification for next time. So in case they didn't realize it, that that's the right, way that- Right, right. I'm kind of seeing myself- It's like it was April Fool's. <laughs> it's it's not not April Fool's, Fool, isn't it? Let me see if I can bring us up here on Facebook Live. Right now I'm getting just a blank screen on Facebook Live. It's, I think maybe it's too powerful, you know, for the computer to handle both things simultaneously mm -hmm. in a way. Um, so it's, I can see Zoom. I'm watching myself now babbling, you know, on Zoom perfectly. <laughs> uh, Facebook is not letting me see myself or any of you. Let me go back to where I was before here. I was seeing something. If you had separate computers, would that work? If you had two separate ones? So I guess no, but I don't have two separate one. computers, you know, to do that. But if I did, I'm sure it would work much better that way. Uh, what if it works if you use your phone? <laughs> let me see. I'm looking through all of this here. I'm thinking any more commentaries about you know, the program. Um, no, just those four, fortunately. Well, I'm glad that they joined in. I hopefully they're still there, you know, watching us. I'm grateful for you showing up tonight for our anniversary program. Um, I did it April 1st because it's April 1st, obviously. <laughs> so happy anniversary. <laughs> when <you do> that. <laughs> that <man. And laughs> I'm going to salute myself and have oh a drink God. just to get through <laughs> all of this. <laughs> this, this type of program sometimes can be quite stressful because you never know the unpredictabilities of things. You never know mm. what's going to work or what not. Look what's happening now. I can see you very well. We're conversing very nicely here on Zoom. 
But on Facebook Live, like I just said before, nothing. I, it won't allow me to see anything except, you know, when I go into the video section, then I see something with some of the people, you know, saying hello or whatever. But that's mm. about it, unfortunately. Oh, well, the wonderful world of technology. And it's April Fool as well. So it works beautifully. I'm the biggest fool of all. So <laughs> have another drink to me you know, for that one. And what about YouTube? When you do YouTube, how does that work? God only YouTube, knows probably what's going to happen on YouTube. You know, I shudder to think. You know, but we'll give it a try <laughs> anyway. You know, because... <laughs> other people when you're on YouTube. I if tried I YouTube a while YouTube. ago and it didn't want to work yeah. with your vocals. And I, I sounded like squeaking for some reason when I tried to go into it live. I'm going to try again mm -hmm. soon. If not, I'm going to okay. broadcast directly from YouTube itself. You know, so mm -hmm. I will post invitations, you know, to join me on YouTube only. I will not be on Zoom for that one. It didn't work the last time. And pray. Mm -hmm. That everything does work from YouTube alone. You know, mm -hmm. you know, if not, oh well, they'll have to jump into Zoom quickly or something and let everybody know that, you know, that we're broadcasting no matter what. It's happened numerous times in other ways before. So we have that you going. Can't interact with, from what I remember, you don't interact with YouTube. You can't. Um, you can chat. Think. You can chat. Oh, you can chat. I still chat. Okay. But yes, this is better. Do that. I prefer this medium here, be this platform, because you can interact like we're doing now, obviously. And you can connect. And if you don't to show your face, you don't have to, and you can just chat. Exactly. Right? You can do the same thing here as well. You don't have to show your face here. This is a choice that people have. If they want to join in, you know, they can. If they want to remain anonymous, they can. That's mm -hmm. up to them. I just offer the option if they want to join like we're doing now, that's fine. And so, but that's nice. So I'm going to give it a go in a week or two to see you know, if that works. And we'll, I'll try it from YouTube exclusively first, hope that it works. And I'll try another go somehow with Zoom you know, on YouTube. As long as the video was beautiful, it was working perfectly. It was the audio that was not happening. I sounded mm -hmm. like I was squeaking. It was just no <laughs> words you could make. It's just pure squeak. It's, I don't understand why that happens. I have a wonderful Wi-Fi connection, very powerful. Mm -hmm. It's brand new. This Wi-Fi is still new, 1900. I have enough power to, to be able to sustain a proper broadcast you know, with, good, with proper video and proper audio. If for some reason, the audio portion failed you know, that time. But let's see what, you know, what works out. But, um, but that's the thing. So in the meantime, it's co we're coming to a close. It's 10.30 already. And we've been up for mm. a while. But I hope that people that were out there enjoyed our program this evening. We had a wonderful stimulating conversation on a number of different topics and subjects. Uh, we covered a lot of things that I wanted to talk about this evening, about the future, what's to be expected, uh, the purpose for this program, obviously, the things that I've done. And for all of you out there who know, you know, I've talked about things such as, you know, paranormal, because I'm a paranormal investigator. So I've done mm. know, programs I've touched upon that um, on cryptids, you know, also in a way on extraterrestrials, you know, also mm. I told about my trip to Roswell to do research there and to find out on my own. I've talked about ancient civilizations and metaphysics. Uh, so I did a program on ancient Egypt when I went and my experiences. Mm. There. I did one on Greece and ancient Greece and my experience oh. there. You know, also, and, you know, so I've provided a lot of different material about different subject matter pertaining to the metaphysical, to the spiritual, to ancient belief systems, religions, you know, to, mm -hmm. to what's out there in space. We've done lots of spot readings, you know, for people out there. Also, I'll be doing more of those as well. And for the audience, we got to keep people, you know, together here. And meditation. Are these uh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Are these archived, your past shows? Yes, on they the are. They're archived actually on D'Angelis Cologne Transpsychic Express. So you can go into the video section. And okay. All those programs are archived there. They're also now are being archived on YouTube on the Metaphysical Communion channel. Okay. So you can catch a lot this entire season, season two. It is on mm. YouTube. I'm uploading more of season one, you know, on mm -hmm. YouTube as well. So you can catch a lot of those programs from the previous season, our, my first season, 
there as well. So everything will be archived, you know, on the Angelus Express and on Metaphysical Communion YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. and a lot of my meditations are on both. So I've done a number of those and I will be doing more programming just for meditation alone, you know, too. Mm -hmm. So this season is drawing to a close, you know, soon. So I'll be taking a bit of a break, you know, for a bit. Mm -hmm. But then I plan to come back for another season, you know, also soon. And um, with newer material, uh, now that I have, you know, Zoom working, you know, it's opened up a whole new world, you know, for more connection. Hopefully I'll get YouTube mm -hmm. up and running. So that way it'll be more expansive, you know, for even more people, you know, throughout mm -hmm. the world, you know, to connect. And uh, hopefully, you know, that'll work. And again, it's just about connecting with everybody and communing. It's all about communing, especially now. We're still in an emergency situation. We have to stay together here. You know, mm -hmm. we have to be connected. And once again, you know, we'll be on, you know, Lois and Joanna's program inside the mind of a psychic mm -hmm. on April the 12th from seven to nine. So that'll be mm -hmm. broadcast, you know, from Facebook and Block Talk Radio. So mm -hmm. I will be there. Lois, of course, Lois Martin, Joanna Garfield McNally, uh, Michael de Blasey are my friends from so long ago. You know, also we oh, were yeah. at the Queen Psychic Club. That's where we all met, mm -hmm. you know, there so long ago. Ooh. And um, Mark Angelo Lyons, I don't know him, but I know of him. And mm -hmm. Angel Akimba. You know, Kimba like, Angel Kimba Reader, yeah. There also, she'll be part of the panel. I've never met Kimba. We've uh, just said hello a little bit, you know, on Facebook. But the six mm -hmm. of us will be there. You will be there moderating, you know. Thank mm -hmm. you. So we'll be all together for that very most interesting and exceptional program that's to happen on April the 12th. We're all looking forward to it. It's going to be a whole mm -hmm. new experience. And I should mm -hmm. be fascinating. And so many minds coming together, talking about their experiences, what they feel, what they believe, and what's to come, hopefully, answering questions from the audience as mm -hmm. well. It should be a fast-paced you know, program. Yeah. And yeah. it'll be very enlightening. And we're all going to learn. We're all going to get something very beneficial you know, from it. So looking forward to it. It's just so, so nice. It, 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 again, community, you know bringing everyone together. It's, it's yes. just a beautiful, yeah, I love it. And I know you're signing off, but I do want to say before I forget, of course I do that, um, much, much love, respect, and many blessings to you, Dee, for doing this, and Pauline, for listening to me, the other sads go mm -hmm. on and on and on. I um it, it, it's just, I, I don't have words. It's a pleasure. I mean, it's just so much better. I mean, what am I going to do? Watch Netflix? Sure. <laughs> sure. No, I mean, I do, but this is better. Sure. <laughs> but I alive, thank you. We're connecting. You know, we're talking about yes. what we do and who we are. It's wonderful. I haven't seen Pauline in God knows how long. And look, we're connecting here this way. We're going to speak with one another. You know, which we yeah. haven't done in such a long time. It was a nice little group we had. It was really fun, the trinity of us, the three. The Very three, nice. The but I, I truly appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully the people that were out the there watching the you know, got, got a lot out of it and enjoyed and learned from us and got a lot mm -hmm. out of it as well. Mm -hmm. We were networking, it seemed like. <laughs> sure. Yeah. We have been. <laughs> And hopefully, you know, they'll feel some people in the future will do this again, and they'll be feeling that they want to connect and join us, you know, as well. They're all welcome. And we go have a nice big group, you know, communing and, and talking. That would be uh, nice, yes. Group. But for now, this is the purpose it was meant to be. It was wonderful. Everybody got a it's lot beautiful. of it. And mm -hmm. it's a lovely way to spend an evening. With all Salud. <laughs> have another Bye. sip. I'm going to like, you know, once again, salute everyone. Thank you for joining me. Many blessings. Here's to all of you. I'm going to goon myself more. I have sparkling cider. And, you know, until <laughs> I go to sleep, you know. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. It happy is. Spirit. It's You're happy baby. Happy everything, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look like bubbly. You look like bubbly up your nose. <laughs>
<laughs> we even made it look like that. <laughs> it's an anniversary party. Celebrate. We have to have more yeah. joy. We have to have more love. We have to have more life to everything. It's about enjoying being good, positive energy. That's what it's mm. all about. It reminds me of Edgar Casey. You know about the. Mm. It's about Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. The power of positive thinking. Mm -hmm. bringing in the light you know they just came to mind for some reason out of nowhere so that's that's for you to all hear you know it's about mm -hmm. the it's, about extraterrestrial. it's about extraterrestrial <laughs> and what they said to whitley streber no, you know who was abducted by the alien so long oh. ago from the book communion you know it said mm. the aliens say to whitley they say have joy oh yeah communion you know, yeah. that's part of the reason why I was inspired to name my program Metaphysical Communion, you know, because mm -hmm. of that, you know, also, you know, about mm -hmm. coming together. We're all going to come mm -hmm. together eventually. Mm -hmm. And today, and Holy gonna, Thursday, right? And today Holy is Holy Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow is Good Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very solemn oh. occasion. I wouldn't have done this program tomorrow night anyway because of that, you know. And so I'm mm -hmm. glad that, you know, it was ah. have to fall tonight. So it worked mm. out beautifully. This, you know, again, spirit works in its divine ways. And mm. here we are. And this program was certainly unexpected. I expect both of you to join in like this. And it's been wonderful. Better than thank I could Thank you told. so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Pauline. For, thank both of you for Good joining the program tonight and making it so special. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to record this. I'm going to post it so people will get to, re to see this. Oh, no, I'm really glad I didn't put my face on. Good night, Dodge. My hair. Good night, Leo Dodge. Everybody. Wrapped up in, in, in such a, just what a mess. Uh, yeah, good night, Robert Sage. Sad, Sage, Leo. Okay. Well, look, everything is fine. You preserve your, your, yourself. Sorry, you know, you're sad. fine. Yeah. You're all fine. And that's it. So again, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure for the past year. And I thank both of you ladies once again for joining and being my guests basically, you know, this evening here and adding so much <laughs> to the program and with your knowledge, your experience and just enhancing everything. This evening bringing a lot of positive energy once again. For those of you who yeah. are there watching, thank you for joining in. I hope that you, you join in, you know, as we continue with this grand adventure of mine, as it expands more and more. And we can all, and eventually, perhaps one day, hopefully in the not too distant future, we can all come together in person and meet, mm. you know, mm. and commune live and in person. Mm. So until that mm. day, you know, I, again, I, you know, cheers to everybody. <laughs> And we'll say good night, all right? And I'll see you again next week for another night. fabulous program. So many blessings. <laughs> many blessings <laughs> to you as well, Trisha. It was lovely talking and meeting you this way finally. My pleasure. And Pauline, my pleasure. Yeah, she's frozen. Okay. Me too. <laughs> uh, now I know. Well, I only know your picture. Well, that. you'll see. <laughs> I <get> your voice <laughs> at least now. I'm getting closer. I get your voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Good night. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Have, a good, have a good, wonderful, good blessed week. Uh, have a beautiful holiday this wherever you celebrate. You know, yeah, have you. peace and joy and and light. And we'll come back again next week. Yes, ma'am. So okay. Blessings <laughs> to all of you. Good night. Blessings. Good night. Yeah. Yeah.